Hello guys, this is us from Love Seat Brazil. <laughs> yes, we are here to share a little bit of our story, how we met, uh, how we got engaged, mm -hmm. and how we got married. And yes, we're gonna start. So Kayo, you could Okay. You could say how did we meet? At the very beginning. Okay. We met when we uh were seventeen and eighteen. I was seventeen, she was eighteen. We met doing some humanitarian aid work in Brazil, in southern Brazil. Can look at the camera. And uh, yeah, I'm just looking in your eyes, <laughs> beautiful eyes. And um, and we noticed each other, but it was it was a six month English and Portuguese program, and that my my brothers and I went, and she went with, her and her mom was there for the beginning and my mom was there for the beginning too because we were going as a family and she was actually you were actually living there that's yes, why you were there i was living and so, there and so we were visiting my, my family was visiting anyways we met and it was a, a five month program and then i thought well she's pretty but i'm going to college so and i had <laughs> plans on that time yeah. I, I still remember, I was about 17, 18 years old, and my plans was, one of my plans was to move to Australia. It was a place that I really wanted to go, and that was my plan. I was like, okay, I think it's cute, but... Uh, <laughs> I, I didn't know. <laughs> I didn't know. We didn't talk about that at all. We were just yeah. friends, and we were so young, probably like, so, yeah, like you said, like mm -hmm. 17, 18. I didn't know how my life would turn out, and I thought it would be in Australia. So, mm -hmm. so then we said goodbye. That was two thousand eight. That's two thousand and eight. We said goodbye. I went to college, and I went to Africa. She went to Africa. Yeah. <laughs> I did. I did a five years double major, and then. She was in Africa volunteering. Yes, I was doing volunteer work in Africa. I went to South Africa, Cape Town, and it was amazing. I really think that it was a good time for me, but yeah. But <laughs> in the middle of the way, probably in 2014, we tried to reconnect again. Mm -hmm. I was going, I was because I am originally from Recife, Pernambuco, which is northeast of Brazil, and Cairo's family is from the south. Mm -hmm. So um, I was traveling from my hometown to Curitiba on that day, and the Kai was leaving on that day. So he tried to... Yes, to... I was leaving. Uh, so that, that was the day that Brazil lost to... Yeah, don't, don't even talk about that. I'm very competitive yeah. about Remember the video soccer. that, had, that has, that. The, has the, the stein that crushes the Kuiperidian glass? Oh my gosh, that That's was pretty terrible. Pretty That's terrible. But so. anyway, so he we tried to, to go out for coffee, but it didn't work out. So didn't Kaya work out. I had, to... I had some friends I was watching the game with, mm -hmm. and I invited her, but she had already been invited to watch the game with someone else, and so it was the last day. She was supposed yeah. to bring, come down come down earlier, but she got delayed, so it didn't work out. But before that, we met too, because we did another humanitarian aid uh, trip in South Africa for the World Cup. We were like soccer. So. Yes, that's 2010. 2010. So you can see how our lives, like how our love life and connect with soccer <laughs> somehow we were like you know i was in, in south africa in 2010 and we saw each, each other for one day yeah just one less time. than a day we went to the like same places hours. we went to mozambique and pretoria area but we went we were there at different times because we did exactly. two different two different groups but we were both doing volunteer work uh, yeah so. so so 2014 we tried to meet up didn't work out, and so then I had just, yeah, I had just graduated, uh, and I was I was going to Brazil, from Brazil, and I was leaving from Brazil to the states to get to get a a job as a teacher. Yeah. So, and so 2014, and she's in Africa. No, she's in Brazil. And then she went back to Africa. 
Right. So I went back to Africa, and Kyle keeps uh, <laughs> messaging me. And yeah. uh, <laughs> he was seriously, guys. Facebook, Brazilian Facebook, Facebook that's Orkut, and, if you remember that is. Yeah. Uh, so um, he keeps messaging me, and I was like, okay. But I was like, no, he's just like she friendly, like, you okay. know. I was like, no, he's just being friendly. And then I remember like my newsletters that I used to send how to tell people what I was doing in Africa and all of that. He was one of, one of the only people that would reply on his letter. So, yeah, I could see something. I was like, hmm, maybe there's something there, but maybe. I wasn't really sure because you never know when a guy really likes you until he actually tells you that he likes you. Just a tip for the girls. They are like on the waiting. <laughs> he needs to tell you he likes you. So, Anyway, um, but let the guy know that you that, that you like him. Because yeah, guys have really hard times. Yes, picking up on that. I had no idea that she even thought about me. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, I was yeah, cause I was shy too. I think after my seventeen, eighteen years old, I developed a lot as a person, so I became less shy. I'm still a little bit shy, guys. People that actually know me, like my friends, they tell now you're not shy at all. But I am. Around new people. And especially on camera, too. Oh, yeah, so. on camera. <laughs> <laughs> so it really, like, freaks me out a little bit. <laughs> so, yeah, babe, so tell okay. tell them. Let's just keep it short, too, because we already have, like, almost seven minutes. And okay. People don't want to listen for 20 minutes. Video. Sure, sure, sure. Like, so, <laughs> uh, we... We were talking, chatting it up, sending emails, and then she was trying to get a visa to South Africa because the visa had run out, so she was going back again. I was really hoping she wouldn't do, get it so I could meet her in Brazil, but she got it, and she left. But then she started uh, <laughs> she started posting online in, in her, yeah, in her uh, Facebook posts and also her newsletter saying that she might come to the United States to visit some friends. Possibly. It was a long shot, but possibly. And then I got psyched and inspired and I said, okay, I'm going to talk to her. And I basically messaged her and Skyped her and said, I think you're a cool person. I think you're, you're beautiful. How about we give this a shot? Yes, he did send me a Skype. We tried to um uh a Skype video. He tried to connect with me and and have a, like a Skype chat, but somehow my computer wasn't working well and I couldn't hear connection. him and connection was bad. Anyway, he couldn't wait. So, <laughs> <laughs> so he told me right away. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, hey, he's been I like waiting you. for what all these years. So he's like, okay, I'm just going to tell this girl because I need to tell her. And then you, then you say, like, wait a couple, like, three yes, three days so, before she responded. Yeah, I was so thinking I the whole time, him, she didn't say no. She didn't say no. It's not because I I, I didn't like him. I was just like, everything get like, I got surprised by the news. And I really wanted time to pray. And I did pray about it. And... I felt he will. He was a right person to me, and yeah. And you, and you had to get visas. Yeah, <laughs> and there's a lot of logistics. Lots so, of stuff. So I was like, okay, can't be done like that. So, yeah. yeah. So anyway, um. Um. So we were just planning to visit each other. Uh, she tried to go to the United States. Her visa got denied. Boo hoo. And then I said, "Well, I'm a Brazilian citizen. And you're a Brazilian citizen. How about we just meet in Brazil?" So we met in Brazil, and then we had 10 days of just dating nonstop. 10 days of dating. How was that, babe? Was that nice? It was awesome. Wonderful. We saw the city. and We took the yeah. the tourist bus. We kiss-kiss. We, we kiss-kiss. <laughs> we kiss-kiss. <laughs> we, we did a lot of stuff, and it was good. Um, we saw a lot of the city. We went out for movies a couple of times. We went to eat. We did as food. much as humanly possible to do yes, in ten days. In ten days. We actually. Oh. And I remember the day that he needed to leave back to yeah. go back to the United States. I was so sad. And anyway, so we set her up in an apartment. Yeah. Got so, her all the best food she needed. <laughs> yeah. And so she was, she was, she was ready to go. Uh, I said, I know it's sad, but I gotta go. So I'll see you soon. And she reapplied, 
<laughs> in in Rio. Yes. And then so in, in Rio, they granted her. Maybe you don't need to tell oh. all the specifics. Okay. But anyway, well, she got, she got the uh, visa. I got my visa, and then I came to the United States in September. And we were of... just trying to meet each other, just get yeah. to know, so make, making sure this would work. So um, we came in 2016. 16. Yeah. I'm just trying to figure out. September, in the fall, in the fall yeah. I came to the United States. And I've been here since then. <laughs> <laughs> because the everything, plan, everything above the table. Yeah. Everything right. Like, the right way. Everything the right way. Like I came and then I came on a tourist visa. Mm -hmm. And um, we weren't planning on getting we married. We were not planning on getting married. The idea was like just to come and... Um, Check things out. Yeah. Check his things out and see his family. I loved his family. His family loved me. And I felt like Kyle was the one for me. He was the man I should marry. But I didn't say anything. And one month later that I was here, <laughs> in November, well, one month this later. one <laughs> takes me to the unit station here in St. Louis, Missouri. In propose I did. so there you go he proposed for me one month later that i was in the united states no it wasn't one month it was we know you knew each other month. no if i came yeah. in september it was like what was a month two months yeah two months about yeah yeah so she got here and we know each other for about eight years yeah going you know from left to right right to left and so we had over the, the timeline so i didn't feel like it was a super super Impulsive act. Yeah, it was great. We knew each other, so we spent ten days together. Ten days <laughs> after a month, I said, "Okay, <laughs> I know <laughs> what I want. Let's do it." And so I said, hey, "Will you marry me?" And yes. Then, that's that's another story. Everybody in the whole restaurant was yes, there watching, and they clapped crazy. for us. They came <laughs> that's outside story. and was like, "Woohoo! Yeah. When is when are you and gonna then, get married?" And then I was like. Okay, I just got engaged. <laughs> well, th that'll be another video. I'll was, tell you how, yes. how I how I. Uh, it was sort of yeah. We're gonna tell. We're gonna tell a little bit of proposed. of um how he proposed. It was a little bit cheesy, but it was pretty cool. I think I'm gonna tell this video. I don't want to let people wait in just to tell this in this video. I think well, we're, we're looking gonna at, finish. We're looking at the. I know, I know. There Until time. yeah, people can handle fifteen minutes. Some people listen to one hour podcasts. So <laughs> people well, then, just hang on okay. there. Well go ahead, go for so, it. So I'm just gonna tell how you propose and then we can share further details of wedding and all of that in another video. But it was funny. So we went to this restaurant in uh Union Station, uh, Missouri and st louis it was cool drove so to the city so we drove to the city out. i thought it was like okay that's a nice date out night out because kyle and i since we we start dating we have this rule in our relationship that we want to <laughs> have one nice date a month okay Quote, guys one proper one date. proper date <laughs> that's how we call so i thought okay we are going to our one proper date of the month <laughs> that we we do like small dates that will go like whatever to uh covers or i don't know i don't know any like a fast nice food date. restaurant no like trip. yeah something so um but that one was a proper date so i thought okay there's something there it's just a proper date so i get there there's this guy all fancy serving me four course four course meal and oh, then nice. when i was done with my food i had like i think it was like a shrimp alfredo pretty sure i had shrimp alfredo and i had like a caesar salad before and i was i had a yeah anyway so <sighs> <laughs> not keeping the details he said okay we're gonna have um dessert yeah. and then we I was like, okay, that's cool. And he's like, okay, let's try to see the lights outside because they started putting lights for Christmas. And there was, there was some water for the and lights. There was some water. Was water. So we went there. When we went there, Kyle gives me a ring pop. Do you guys know what is that? <laughs> I never it's seen the, that before. Just the little candy that comes in a individually yes. wrapped yeah, package. Yeah, for the ones in Brazil, if you have no idea what I'm talking about, it's, like a it's ring a candy. With that. Yeah, we don't have those in Brazil. Sucker so. Anyway, so he's like, "Do you want one of those?" And I was well, like, "Waiting for dessert? What? Like, types of dessert?" I was like, 
No, I think we're gonna eat dessert, right? So, <laughs> why I'm gonna eat something sweet now? Because we're gonna have dessert. So anyway, I was like, okay, that's fine. So when and it, he wrapped very nicely, guys. It felt like I was opening a proper candy. So I opened the thing. I was like, okay, that's weird. But there's something else inside it, uh, and it was uh, this other little package, and it was my ring. <laughs> <laughs> so he got me. Oh, gosh, the ring. Yeah, that's my. Oh my gosh, nice that's ring. my ring. <laughs> anyway, so he was like, "Would you marry me?" And I'm like, and suddenly I look around. There's all the restaurant people. They're outside. They were up against the, the glass door, looking through. And then as and soon as I, I kneeled, was like, and she said yes, yes, and they opened like, the door. Ah! And started the whole, it was some kind of church convention, convention. like everyone there was wearing super nice clothes and then they were all oh, watching yeah. us and then they were like, hallelujah. <laughs> anyway, so it was cool. So that's what happened to our engagement and we got married on the following year. Five months later. 2017. Five months. March. Which day, Kyle? Hmm. <laughs> he knows the dates. He's very good with dates. Yeah. So just to explain how I did that, I opened it. The it was a strawberry ring pop. I took the ring pop out. I ate the ring pop. <laughs> then, <laughs> sorry. And then I put uh, tape on the bottom. After I had put a ring and a little gift bag in there, like a, one of those felt jewelry bags. And so I said, so when I was proposing, I opened it up. I opened. I said, whoa, watch this. And she didn't know what it was because it was covered up. And I opened it I said, oh, it's a ring. And I got down on one knee. I said, will you marry me? And she said, of course I will. Okay, yes, that's awesome. So yeah, that's our love story. That's our love story. And we have so much to share with you guys. And we just wanted to um, share a little bit of our lives. I know I was planning to this video to be maximum 10 minutes. Now it's like 17. <laughs> so <laughs> hang on there, guys. It's a good story. So, yeah. So, if you have any questions what they need to do, Kyle, just comment below mm -hmm. on our YouTube channel. And we have an Instagram page. It's what, what is the page, Kyle? Love Seat Brazil. Love Seat Brazil. Love Seat and Brazil. if you want to follow us there, we post pictures and things that we find it interesting or deals that we find on supermarkets, stores and a little bit of our, about of our lives and mm -hmm. our trips and how we do life so yeah guys so yeah. if you like this video if you like us please subscribe subscribe like right button. there <laughs> and yeah that's We're, it for today that's it for today that's it for today one small note uh not all videos will be this long yes <laughs> okay we plan on having like one or two minutes <laughs> Okay. But love stories take some time. You got to give it some respect. Oh, yeah. Okay. All right. So that's us. See you yeah. guys later. See Bye. You later. Bye.